He's pretty good, though, Mike, isn't he? Oh, yeah, the art of the interview. Yeah, he knows his craft. As much as it pains me. Choice of words and phrases. And some of them are his own. Good vocabulary? No, you wouldn't even know that word. No, look, there's a, there's a whole basket full of, of phrases and expressions that can transform Mike's opinion into undeniable fact. Such as? Oh. But you'd have to accept. But you'd have to accept. But you'd have to accept. Mr Lake, it's obvious to all. It's obvious to all. It's obvious to all. The facts still remain. The facts still remain. Well, perhaps at the end of the day, though. Perhaps at the end of the day. But you have to admit. But you have to admit. But you have to admit. That's not what the experts are saying. And you really believe what you're saying? Do you still stand by what you said last week? But surely. But surely. But surely. 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 All that stuff makes an interview exactly what you want it to be. You don't have to talk. It's the way that you listen. Get Rick to have a look at Mike's body language. It's a lesson in itself. He reeks of superiority. The knowledgeable listener. That little fist he makes. Like the mind's ticking over. The point with the pen like he's ready to strike. The pained eyebrows like he's analysing every word that's being said. And the cock of his head. It says everything without saying a thing. Are many people awake to all this? Politicians, they know the tricks. So how do you handle them? Sometimes you don't. But would you say that you misled people along the way? No, Mr Moore, look, just give me a chance to explain. What well, I gave you a chance no. before and then you said that you didn't want to explain. No, but if you just give... You're trying to bulldoze Mr me. Pascarelli, people want answers yeah, and look, you're not look, giving you them. you media maggots are all the same. But if you strike a prick who knows what he's doing, you just repeat the accusation. You're a break on record. Just keep repeating. And then what? Keep repeating. Just keep repeating. Just keep repeating. Mm. Just keep repeating. Mr Moore, nothing could be clearer. My department was completely exonerated in the inquiry. I'll say it again, Minister. Three people are dead. Yes, you've said that. And what I'm saying to you is that the department was not at fault. How do you think the parents and families of those three dead fishermen feel? Of course, they have our deepest condolences. Three people are dead and your department has its head in the sand. I won't accept three that. Three people are dead. I... How does it end? In a draw. An entertaining draw. Yeah, but surely after an interview like that, they're not going to come on again. These guys know the rules. They'll always need us. We'll always need them. At the end, they shake hands, no hard feelings, and see you next time. It's scurrilous of you to suggest it. Well, I'm sure the families don't see it that way. I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. Minister, thanks for your time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And we'll be back with more after the break.